he noticed through his son's friends how the Aboriginal boys, they were part Aboriginal, seemed to have an understanding of space, spatial things. Hmm. And he started this um, trust to give young Aboriginal people an opportunity to do engineering. And they've been doing this now, it's 14 years. And I don't know if you, we all assume some cultures are good at things. You know, you think of Italy and you mm-hmm. go, yeah, food, food, mm-hmm. good cooks. But he said they have a, a, a very natural gift, mostly, not everyone, mm-hmm. in engineering, in various kinds of engineering, and particularly engineering to do with water. And, you know, he's a, a science, scientist himself. So, you know, I think, well, isn't that wonderful? He just felt inspired and he, he got a past Prime Minister of Australia to help him do it. And one of our nephews is in that, was in that program and he is, he's gifted. Mm-hmm. You can, there's an, another element. Now you can say, oh, that's just because he's a bright young man. Mm-hmm. But I, I'd like to think there's something very... F- where do we come from? What makes us mm. like we are? I'd have to say that it's just much more than the three or four generations. It's usually much, there's something in us that comes from a deep past that we don't have to know, but it's in us. And I think if there's more patience in the Australian people, the Aboriginal people will come into their own. They will travel a different journey many times, but they will find ways to contribute to Australia. Some will miss out. That's the sad cost. The Some have given, you know, the drink, the drugs, but that's the mm. same in every culture. Mm. There's a percentage. I think uh, understanding Aboriginals and al- alcohol, this is what I learned when I was in Central Australia. The Aboriginal traditional way, I mean... Central Australia is not a garden. Now and again, you can kill a kangaroo. Now and again, you can kill an emu. But not every day. And so when the Aboriginal people were able to, say, kill a kangaroo, they would sit down and cook it and eat the whole animal. And uh, the people who were talking to me said they'd grow twice the size in their girth because they're just eating and eating and eating until the whole animal is consumed. There's no refrigeration. They've got, you know, maybe 24 hours to eat this animal. And in the Aboriginal mindset, you don't walk away from a table, you take everything. Mm. And so when they came to alcohol, the whole idea, we have two glasses of wine and we cork it up and we'll have that tomorrow. It's, it's not in their psyche. Mm. There it is. Mm. We're going to drink the lot. That's the only way. That's centuries and centuries of eating everything mm. when it was available. Mm. And so that's, that's in their psyche. And I, I do think that is uh, one of the problems with alcohol because when they get started... They don't want to stop. 